That's how we're opening the show. Hey everyone, it's Game Crow, and we're playing Outlast. Last time, you know, I had just gotten the game. I didn't have a whole lot of time to get real far into the game. I had some stuff I had to go take care of. So we're going to jump right in where we left off, which was kind of getting thrown off the second story. Some crazy guy finding our camera, and yeah. So, here we are. We're trying to get out. Um, let's remember... Hey, there's the button we wanted. Makes things a little fuzzy, but hey, what what can you do, you know? Um, well, we found a dead body. Hey, we found a battery. We got it. Was that a door? Or, or maybe that was one of my cats? No, that cat's asleep. That cat's asleep. My cats are asleep, so I'm going to assume that was a door. Or the floor creaking. So, uh, there's a bunch of dead bodies, and, uh, um, that guy got really gored. Super gore. That guy's dead. Oh, look! A document! Let's read the document. Murkoff Corporation, United States Office. Warrant for seizure. Case number 29475814. In the matter of the seizure of Mount Massive Psychiatric Center, Murkoff Psychiatric Systems. Okay, I don't feel like shattering this anymore. Affidavits having... Affidavit. Affidavit. That's such a fucked up word. Anyway. Having been made before the board of directors by Murkoff Hardline Security, who has reason to believe catastrophic security failure of psychiatric center with imminent danger of environment contamination. We are satisfied that the affidavits and testimony establish sufficient evidence to require urgent action on the part of MHS. And grounds for the issuance of this warrant. You are hereby required to grant MHS full access to all facilities and surrender complete authority to its agents. By acceptance of this document, you and any surviving relatives surrender all claims in lit of litigation against the Murkoff Corporation or its subsidiaries for the actions of MHS or the circumstances which require their actions regardless of responsibility. I really wish people would hang up the phones in this place. Alright, so... That's a closed hallway. That's an open hallway. That's a stairwell. That's a bunch of blood. Let's not go towards the blood. But... Alrighty then. There's a bathroom. Witness. Alrighty. That looks like a lot. Is that a hand? That is very much a hand. Hey, look, it's me. Alrighty. So, uh. I feel like going in here is kind of trapping myself. But I'm sure there's a reason to come in here. Like a battery! I think... Wow. All the body parts and stuff. Why? Does this door pull? Alright, well, okay. This door needs a key card. Okay. Guess that door needs a key card then. Hey look, a document and a dead guy. Let's see what this one has to say. We're we're an investigative type. Uh 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 we write newspaper stories and we need all the information. From Helen Grant. Dear sirs, 
The full report pending. No immediate action is required on the part of the Murkoff Corporation. The profit potential of Project Wall Rider remains staggeringly high. The four fatalities contain enough ambiguous data to make any litigation, if evidence is correctly managed, impossible. Project Wall Rider remains a dangerous initiative, and there will almost certainly be further casualties. Well, that's nice to know. As with the others, however, family and government interest in the patients is so low as to make any chance of legal actions vanishingly unlikely. Violence among patients is increasing as the morphogenic engine therapy gets closer to reproducing working models, but a combination of physical and chemical restraints has proven sufficiently effective to assure continued control and profit. Respectfully, Helen Grant, Murkoff Legal Mitigation Department. This is a, this is like an evil place. See, any company that a lot. All right, there's an ice cream truck driving down my street, and I just noticed I'm leaving bloody footprints everywhere. Who wants ice cream? All right, well we can't go that way. Somebody's yelling, and I, I, the audio is coming through the TV and not the headphones, and so I only kind of heard it, and it was kind of weird. Oh, that's just water I hear. Okie dokie. Oh, wait, that was the wrong button. Alright, so we're not going that way either. Oh, that was the wrong button. So where is it we're supposed to go? No, not that way. Why would you put a desk in front of a door like that? Um, alright. Hey, dead guy, do you have a key on you or anything useful? No? Okay. Uh huh. What? Plants. Spoopy plants. No, that's not the right button. One of these buttons, that one. More things to read. Project Wall Rider. CLW Walker, initial date of patient consult, 2011, January 28th. Uh, na -na -na -na. 32 years old. Therapy status. Here we go. Morphogenic engine activity. Plateaued at roughly 2,000 ppm. Unsafe to progress beyond stage 3 hormone schedule. Spirometry revealed light to medium bronchial accumulation. Again, why can't you just say there was shit in his throat? MRI scans consistent with patients reported dreams. Walker was interviewed in restraints following his self-inflicted mutilations. Restraint have to have had to be altered to accommodate his enormous size. Extensive dermal eruptions as consistent with failed morphogenic engine cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for a truer way of seeing. Seems to have some boyhood experience with Tutara lizards and their paradial eyes. Par paradial eyes. Why are there words I don't know? Because they're medical words. He has expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose. Attending orderly should be advised to watch for further self-mutilation. The mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seem to be retarding progression of the ME process. His predominant fixation, amplified by therapy, is a manic exaggeration of military security protocol. A continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. And then it makes that spoopy noise every time I... Why, why are you telling me to peek? That guy's twitching. That guy's twitching. 
I don't want to go that way, but yeah, can't go, can't go this way. You just stay right there in your wheelchair, buddy. Stay in your wheelchair. Yeah. Man, the White Noise and Blood program. That's a great program. Hey, a note. Let's read it. A crowd of broken men watching a dead channel. They look like patients. They survived whatever happened here, but nobody's home. Well, you know, you look fine. You know that? You, you look mutilated and ugly as fuck. And you look like you have nubs for hands. And what the hell happened to you, yo? Well, either way, just know I'm not here. We're gonna crawl on the floor a little. Oh. Whatever it is I'm here to do, I don't want to be here to do. Oh, I need this. I don't like that I need this. But I need this. Reporter's notebook. Inventory. Okay, whatever. Hey, are we still watching the, uh, static channel? Ugly, nubby motherfucker. Alright, see, you just stay in your wheelchair. I said stay in your wheelchair. What am I supposed to do? English, buddy. Because it sounded a lot like gobbledygook. I'd wonder why you're breathing so hard when you're just walking, but you're probably scared shitless. Proclaim the gospel. And that's where I got thrown from. Right up there. I can't say it felt good, but, you know, whatever. Alright, let's open this and get the hell out of here. No, 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 don't do that. Oh. If it says hide, then just hide. Hi, big guy. Hey, I made a note. Let's see what it says. Big fucking guy. The big fucker is stalking me. Found a patient file for a Chris Walker, ex-military police. Several tours in Afghanistan. A lot of the blood in this place is on his hands, but not all of it. So, apparently, this note was created by the fact that I found that note. Oh, it's probably just been the big fucker is stalking me. That's kinda cool. Come on, dude. Leave. I 
pretty sure the hallway that way ends. I think I'm just going to sit here and wait. I can still hear your chains. I don't hear your chains anymore. There's time to fight, there's time to run like a little bitch. It's suddenly... No, I need the camera! I think it's going to be too spoopy. Hypnotic experimentation and research. Wednesday, February 10th, 1954. Hypnotic experimentation and research work was continued in Building 13 of the Mount Massive Preserve in Colorado using the following subjects. Material abridged. A post-hypnotic of the night before, pointed finger, you will sleep, was enacted. Mrs. Jackson and Pierce immediately progressed to a deep hypnotic state with no further suggestion. Miss Pierce was then instructed, having previously expressed fear of firearms in any fashion, that she would use every method at her disposal to awaken Miss Jackson, now in a deep hypnotic sleep. And failing this, she would pick up a nearby pistol and fire it at Miss Jackson. She was instructed that her rage would be so great that she would not hesitate to kill Jackson for failing to awaken. Miss Pierce carried out these suggestions to the letter, including firing the unloaded pneumatic pistol gun at Jackson and then proceeding to fall into a deep sleep. After proper suggestions were made, both were awakened and expressed complete amnesia for the entire sequence. Miss Pierce was again handed the gun, which she refused in an awakened state, to pick up or accept from the operator. She expressed absolute denial that the foregoing sequence had happened. Alright, so... Hypnotic... What? What is that? Why do I hear spoopy sounds? Who's here? Who's who's here with me? Hey. Well oh, oh, I thought there was a texture error there. Wait, there is a texture error there. Well look what I found. Was right. I'm not alone. I see. I see your 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 nice big stick there. Oh boy. Just checking the lockers. Kind of glad I didn't hide in there.
Yeah, you just you just go that way. Oh no! Oh god, no! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Come on. I think I hear you walking. Like, this game is very based on audio. More, more based on the audio than what you see, or more to the point, don't see. It's all about, oh shit, I heard that noise. Oh shit, I heard that noise. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna guess that guy's gone. in that room. So let's just push the button and run! Alright, we made it. We are safe for now. I don't know how long that's going to last. Is the security room's this way, right? I'm going to go with yes and just hope. Open the doors. What the? 
No, no, not a needle. Oh, I don't like needles. Why? I think I might be a little done for there. Can I just leave yet? You know, get out of here, away from you psycho motherfuckers. Oh, where are we? We're in a room. Yay, we're in a room. And we will explore this room and what's outside this room in another video. But if you like this one, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more videos. And as always, enjoy. So until next time, later! <laughs>